Street. Right. Right. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, let's try him. I mean, I'm just trying to find a good, maybe that tree right there. Yeah, that's fine. It's a little more level right there. Gobble too. Good, good. Oh, he's coming. There he is. I see him. He's right on the uh, straight. You see the big tree right in front of you? Yeah. He's right behind it. Is he just standing there? No, he's coming down the hill. Okay. I see the dead, uh, yeah. broken off tree. Yeah. He's getting ready to come towards it. steady when I saw him. He saw something he don't like. He's going back up. Hearing put. Same as he's going back up hill. Okay. He's gone. You gotta be kidding me, man. That's happened to me like three times this year. He came down and stood there for a second and folded up and went up the hill. Did you, were you on him? I, don't, I may have got some glimpses of him. Yeah, birds 100 yards across this flat, this bottom on the other side on the ridge. Started Jake yelping to him. He broke. I saw him step out like literally 100 yards away, looking, looking. Jerked his head up, tucked his wings. I heard him putt one time, and then he walked back up the hill. And you're just not going to convince me that that's because he didn't see a hen. I mean, I get that if he was closer, but my gosh, he was just in one little pocket over there. See, right, he's, right, he's coming back down the hill. All right, folks, so this bird, we, like I said, we got him in eyesight, then he just tucked his wings and walked back up the hill and we don't know what the deal is. And now he's gobbling right back about where he was when he walked off. So Shane and I, Shane's gonna put in a mouth call with me. We're gonna do fighting purrs. So I am? You are. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna get this wing right here. So before we move, because he's so close now, we have to be very careful moving in these big open hardwoods. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this fight do the wing, see if he don't run down the hill to us. If that don't work, then we might try to slip backwards and go around and get on the ridge with him. He's, he's right here, he's 125, 150 yards right here.
got two options. I think we don't, I think we don't call to them anymore. Yeah. Well, option one is I hit record and I walk back up in the woods and call. Option two is boogie up there and get above him or, uh, or level with him. I like option two better. Just reposition, you mean? Yeah, just get yeah. up there. I think we get up there flat with him and he'll come walking in. He could, yeah. We just gotta go straight back quietly. I never liked being Call across him. a valley. No, I don't valley. either. I agree. He's over that. So my bet is we, we can walk straight to him right now. Get it right on that spine. I'm just suggesting I'd be right up on top there. He'll come right up to the top. Okay, we'll get up there then. If you get on that spine there, he's just gonna walk on top above us. Oh, let's get up there. He's right there. Right, right there. He's, no, I don't think he's all the way down there. Yeah, I think he's. One, I think he's still on this finger. Let's drop here. What do you think? Drop down right in here. Okay. Okay. We can peek over that, but it's pretty steep. It looks like. Is that steep there? This looks like a pretty good spot to call into. Big tree right there. What is that? Right there. Right there. Keep. What's that? What's down there? Is that steep drop off? Looks like here and then it's kind of. I think at the end here it's a little steep. Okay. Yes. All right. Go ahead and you yelp first. I don't have a problem with that in the world because totally different sound. And then I'll yelp different on whatever call I end up putting on up. He's right below us. He's a little closer. That is not textbook. Come, 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 come. Watch out there, watch out there. Look at my mind. Dang it, all that dead falls in front of us. I hope they don't try to come above us. That's going to be a crap. <laughs> right where the barrel's pointing. That's where they're coming, it sounds like. Did you get him? I don't think so. Run right up there. It looks like the shot hit trees and limbs. Um, and... We're doing everything right, but killing them. Hit up there. We're just been standing there and just took off running. So I was 
No, he, when I walked up there, he was still there. Oh, you saw him? Up yeah, there. I saw him. And then, I, I mean, I don't know. That's why I started yelping. Oh. <laughs> but I didn't know that he had ran all the way down. Yeah, he came up the him. hill and went right behind. <laughs> he wasn't hurt. <laughs> well, it's not totally your fault then. Wow, wow, wow. Pick that well, tree up. Yeah, that's. There she is right there. I mean, I'm not saying it would have. You still might not have killed it, but. He was getting gone, and when I was putting it on him. Yeah. <laughs> that took the brunt of the pattern right there. Right in the middle of it. Yeah. That will destroy a pattern in a heartbeat. Send it all kinds of different directions. Especially that close to you. Yeah, yeah. All right, folks, it is uh, the evening hunt. It's what time, Shane? Three o'clock, four o'clock? It is 4.10. 4.10. We're gonna go around the corner of this alfalfa field set up on this edge. Uh, Keith had been seeing two or three strutters out here several afternoons, so we don't know where they come from. If you look around, I mean, there's trees and there's cover, but we're just gonna get up there and put some sweet music out in the air and, and hopefully suck them over to the corner of this field where you've been seeing them strutting. So let's do it, come on. Probably should be running the tube call just for sheer volume. Oh, well, that thing's carrying, I guarantee you. <clears throat> I caught it, it sounded like I, I only heard a piece of it. It was a good full gobble. Where was it at? Did it just go? Yeah. I heard a crow. It sounded like it was off to our left. The first time. Hold on a minute. Let me get situated here so I can listen. No, he got one again. I think it sounded over there. He's probably down that field where that hand came from. Might be coming out of that crow. Hit it one more time. Could see him, he could see us. I thought he was to the left. He's probably coming out of that um, low spot where that hand came from. I swear, I, all I heard was in my left ear, off that direction. I mean, I heard it clear as bell both times. All right, folks, been set up about an hour. We got two hens feeding off my gun barrel over here, a couple hundred yards, another hen across the field. Just hit the tube call, bird hammered right to our left. So game is on. They're looking hard. And I like the cover we got too. Yeah, we got plenty of. We just need them to come up this way and, and be at, in gun range. Yeah. Listen. Is that not a drone? Listen. I think that's that moment I've been hearing all afternoon. I bet they're following those hands we saw. Yeah. They're still just standing there looking. Now I'm thinking the Jake might have been a good idea. Well, I can barely crawl right over there and stick it up. Go for it. He's uh, still on the Here he comes. I see his head peeking over. There he is. He's got his head up above the rise again. Think you can see that deep? 
He should be able to see for he's, he's almost to the end of that those popple trees, the green ones. Oh, is he? He's approaching the end of the. You know, his head's up. See him? No, no, no. He's coming up the hill. He's coming this way. He's walking this way. I think he must have finally saw the dead. Here he comes. He's yeah. trails. Get him. You're smoking, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my boy, my good friend Shane Simpson caught it. He called it. We had, we got the bird to gobble, and uh, Shane barely crawled that Jake decoy. And I'm not a big decoy advocate. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm not a huge decoy advocate. But Shane barely crawled, as you can see, the snail trail right here. <laughs> I'm all the, the grass. I'm sopping wet too. All the way out here, and he got that that Jake Deke on that Bert, and that's what brought him all the way in, all the way across the field, without a shadow of a doubt. That's what got that's what made it happen. <laughs> Wisconsin turkeys down, boys. Yeah. Well, we've had a great day. Look, Look at, at that. that clunk. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, Shane Simpson? We did it, buddy. We did it. Zone four tag field in Wisconsin. Yes. <laughs> I started talking. Hell. Good Friday morning. The public land here in uh, Wisconsin. Scarlet Hill is again in front of me. We're, uh, we're in a public spot that Joe Slater and I came to last year and he killed a bird. We were going to hunt a little private track yesterday afternoon, but um, it's just not much property and it was right on the top of a huge ridge, so you couldn't really move around. It was thick where they'd cut it and just not very turkey ish. So we opted to come in here. He cut me off. I thought that's so. I thought I was seeing goblin on the top of your yoga. He's, he's, he's not actually, that far. He's actually hot and he's I think, he, I think he's on this side of the Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get up here. Coming but on the side of the rail. Yeah. Should sure. we get down in here? Yeah. You just keep an eye on you'll have to keep an eye on this rail in case he tries to walk it in, but Alright folks, we got a little vantage point up here. The bird's hammering, gobbling on his own. We're about hundred to hundred and fifty yards. We think we can slip him working right up in this little bottom. Barely open, a little thick in places, but I think we got a pretty good setup here. Well, it used to work your magic. He's closer. He's been he's been creeping in. Look, I think he has. Good thing I told you to sit down here. 
to the right of the base of the pet tree. <laughs> and that's about where he's at. I saw something go just flicker or move or something caught my eye. It may not be him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he is. Where is he at? He's, um, Gun barrel. Uh, like 12.30. He's coming. He's a clump of green grass. He's behind. He's behind it. Yeah, he's looking. He's coming now. I say, I got him. Going left or yeah. going right? Yeah. He was walking away from it. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. We had eyes on that gobbler coming right down the gun barrel. He got about 40 yards, which is plenty of gun range, but he, there's a bunch of dead limbs between me and him, and I wasn't gonna take that shot. He cut right on us, and was never to be seen again. Well, I think I saw him walking off, but we were motionless. We were camouflaged very well. Shane's even down low, and uh, he never acted alerted, or like he was boogered, but, uh, well, he was, he was drummed a few times behind the behind tree. Behind the bushes, and then we think he just walked, come in and walked off. Probably had three and a half inch spurs. Because <laughs> he's 19 years old. Up in this old uh, river swamp here in Wisconsin. It looks like, this looks like Florida we're hunting right now, actually. It's crazy. Same thing Joe said. Yeah. But uh, we thought we had it done. We thought we had it done. Maybe I should start calling. Yeah, let's change it up. I wonder if we can be right there. Yeah, he's closer than he was earlier. I think he's coming out and wander back in here, that's what I'm saying, yeah. He's right there. Yeah. Straight behind it. He's getting closer to you. I 
Straight up top. Yep. He's straight behind those, those sauce head moves. He's red now. You see the little sticks right to the left of the broke tree? Where he was before? Yeah, he's another 60 yards or 40 yards beyond that. Just standing there strutting. Just, full, just standing there. Yep, just went in the full strut. I got a shot. His head's a lot different color and the top of his head's white, but he's engrossed in red now. Do some takeouts. And he went back and struck. Here he comes, he turned back around. Do you see him? Yeah, I see him. The same spot he was last time. He's moving to the right slightly. Well, that calmed him down. Then he comes off to the right. Right over there, that direction. Yeah, right over there. So I think we still just we're gonna crow in now, you know, cold crow in. I think we Why don't we just if he's before we do this, why don't we just let me try to do my fight with this wing and see if he don't come charging in. Yeah, and then now we got all these trees in front of us here too. So that's what I'm saying. I think if we get up two hundred yards north of here. And if we bump him, we're done, obviously. But yeah, well, I'm going to leave the decision. Yeah, I'm, I'm just giving uh, yeah, a suggestion. I know. I'm just thinking we're going to bump. He's not that far. He's just not that far over there. I'll, just, I'll, I'll correct my camera when I get out of sight. I'm not going to try and do it here. Crazy low crawling army action. Was <laughs> I tried my best. So we, we crawled into this canal ditch, went under the train trestle. Now we got cover. We've called the bird in twice. The fight broke him last time. I had a shot. It's a little far. Again, there were sticks and vines like this. I'm not going to shoot the turkey like that. 
and I got a chill now, I'm shivering. But uh, we think we can use this low area. We're gonna try to get maybe get up on the trestle, look down into there. But I think the right side up in the right position on this bird, I think we can kill him. So, He's in that direction. Yeah, he's right. He's right there. there. Yeah. Man, I'm just about to use this ditch here and just yeah, try to. Well, folks, we've been set up blind calling for about two and a half hours and uh, <clears throat> not heard a peep. We've got great sign on this grass road that winds through this, this state land, but not heard a sound. So we're going to slip out of here and go to Plan F, I think we're on now, aren't we? Plan F. <laughs> Close to it. <laughs> so uh, it's been an eventful morning so far, and it's kind of quieted down, but I think we can still pick up some action somewhere. So come on along. I got to get some cameras rolling first before you start screaming about where turkeys are. I think he's here. I got up there higher. How? Oh, he's down, he's down. He's down. Look at that. Somebody's so excited right now. So our buddy Dave Constantine, we just met up at a shop. Beautiful wildlife artist, amazing carver. He's an artist. Dave got his permission to hunt some property. We, we're up here, we're getting out of the truck, taking a leak, and we're hearing birds gobble. She's like, I swear a bird gobble. I said, I was getting my shotgun to get my vest. Swore a bird gobble. This bird is just hammering on his own right now. There he went right there, so we're gonna go kill this turkey. Come on. Look at the deer. Good, get those out of here. I think he's on the other side of that hill there. Yeah, I think he's right yeah. here. Let's walk this trail right here. That field circles around. He could have been on this side and was just walking around the hill. <laughs> He's good in that field. He's a good ways off too. I would just walk this these pines straight down the road to give you cover. So we gotta we might see him in that field. Yeah, I guess you could uh, get down enough to peek in there. Binoculars handy. Yeah, I know. Always. You can't get no closer to it. It's still a good ways off. Yeah, but if it's still taking a look side of the pine tree you're looking at. Yeah. Get your binoculars and look up through there. Yeah. Right below that horizontal limb. Way up there. Yeah. Almost. I think we need to get closer to him. Use this terrain and get closer to him. You keep coming here. Yeah, we just go straight up and around him. Yeah. And see what see what wood it looks like on that side of the pine. Gotcha. Pond. Gotcha. He, I don't think he's going to come over here. I've got a big roof running in here. Yeah. Huh? I see what you're saying. If you can yeah, get that's too far if he stays in that big box. Range the field. He's right there. He can move right now. I'm going to get that tree right there. Okay, let's do it. Go ahead and go, go, just go. I'll get right around you. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, 
get we gotta get out. There he is walking across the field. He's walking down the field. Oh. Can you stop? He's looking. You can see he's walking out. I still think we can get closer to that field. Look up there, you see him? Yeah, yeah. He just right. to, he's got a hand or something with him. Huh? He's got a hand or something with him. He's marching this way. Oh, there's a bird out in the field. Is that that Jake? Right there. There's, That's a Jake. I'm going to start calling it. I just, I don't, I don't. Here comes a hand down the field or a Jake. To the, his, Jake. To the left and right behind that tree. Yeah, it's a Jake. Okay. <laughs> wow, what a What gobble. a gobble. That is insane. Can you lean your head back just a piece? Yeah, right there so I can... So I can see the gobbler. I'm trying to get oh to the tree. Yeah. That's why I was hoping he'd go. Trees in my way. Alright, I'm back on him. Trees in my way. <laughs> Boy, we have had the most awesome few days in Wisconsin. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> Look Little at our bluff. cover up through there. Oh, they that dark abyss. Years. Yeah, it was this beautiful setup. I mean, it really was. They couldn't see us for nothing in the world in that shade. Those briars and those shadows. <sighs> Some bumps, Shane Simpson. Man, this has been a great few days. We've we've tackled them on public, on private, and we've had all the elements that you could experience in one lifetime of hunting. Probably, I mean, not in all of them, but you a, a could whole book about it. Yep. From this, from the um, public lamb swamp turkey this morning, giving us the spin through that bad cover to a field turkey with no decoys except for that Jake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. Let's unload this thing. Put a tag on that turkey. 
and go sleep in in the morning because we can go back to the airport and take me back to Florida. And this ends my, my concludes my turkey season for 2017. I was proud to do it with you, Shane. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I really I, appreciate I it. I enjoyed you coming up and we had <laughs> a great time. We made a great combo this week. I we, mean, we. The dynamic duo. Yep. <laughs> We've done pretty good. We have done pretty good, my friend. Yep. Let's pack this big old roper out of here. Nice. We'll see you guys.